The Schold, which means shield in Norwegian, is a class of six light, super-fast stealth missile corvettes in service with the Royal Norwegian Navy. The boats were formerly classed as MTBs, motor torpedo boats, but from 2009, the Royal Norwegian Navy has described them as corvettes because their seaworthiness is seen as comparable to corvettes and because they do not carry torpedoes. They were built with a maximum speed of 110 km per hour and were classified as the fastest combat ships afloat at the time of their introduction. The Schuld class missile fast patrol boat is specifically identified by its speed, reduced signatures, small size with heavy weapon load, and its literal combat capacity. The Schuld has an air-cushioned catamaran hull, or known as surface effect, which provides high speed and maneuverability with its water jet propulsion. The first of class ship was the KNM Schuld P960, which was commissioned in April 1999. Moreover, the Norwegian government approved the construction of five more Schuld class vessels in June 2002. Contract negotiations were concluded in July 2003. The other five hulls include the Storm P961, the Scud P962, the Steel P963, the Glimped P-964, and the Gnist P-965. For the information, the series of these ships were constructed at the Umo Mandel Shipyard. Talking about its mission, the ship in this class shall perform surface operations as part of their Navy's exercise of sea control. It is specially designed as a surface vessel, and these are the vessel's primary roles. They contribute to more than 50% of the surface capacity. They become a powerful, mobile, and flexible vessel as independent or integrated in large forces, which can solve a variety of naval tasks. This ship is the Navy's most important contribution in coastal waters and complements the frigates, which operates in open waters. In peace, the vessels will claim sovereignty and provide support as necessary, for the exercise of authority and jurisdiction. The vessels have high mobility because their speed and weapons, which makes them able to quickly be in place to solve missions. The vessels are able to provide support to the Coast Guard as needed to represent a real threat of power. This ship also supports special operations and protects the petroleum installations along the coast and the sea. With its high mobility, speed, seaworthiness, possibilities to operate close up to the archipelago, and to transport special forces and their weapons load. The vessels are especially well suited to satisfying this goal. This ship also monitors and controls large seas. Vessels speed, seaworthy characteristics, and sensors, which is a very good radar to obtain information or situational awareness, and are suitable for covering large seas. The sensors focus particularly on image building both offshore and intersection. Lastly, it also provides long-range firepower against both sea and land targets. Furthermore, in September 2002, Schuld conducted a 13-month deployment in the U.S., allowing the U.S. Navy to study the Schuld class concept. The ship took part in a series of naval drills and a number of tests with the U.S. Navy research establishments, NAVSI, and the Office of Naval Research. This was the result of a bilateral agreement in which the U.S. Navy reviewed the Schuld capabilities and performance as part of their transformational efforts. Schuld was temporarily decommissioned in September 2003 and returned to the Mandel shipyard for the purpose of having its propulsion systems upgraded. The vessel began sea trials in November 2006 prior to recommissioning in mid-2008. Schuld has been redesignated as a trial platform. The second ship in class, the Storm P961, was delivered in September 2010. The Scud P962 was delivered in October 2010. The Steel P963 was delivered in June 2011. And the fifth ship in class, the Glimped P964, was handed over to the Royal Norwegian Navy on March 2012. The last ship in class, the Nest P965, was delivered to the Royal Norwegian Navy in November 2012. An important capability of the Schuld is its covert operational capability with littoral warfare, particularly in using Norway's coast topography with its islands and fords to carry out surveillance and engage hostile forces from a close distance while remaining undetected. The shallow drought of 0.9 meters to 0.23 meters allows the ship to access very shallow waters denied to other vessels. Talking about the design of this ship, the Schuld design is a surface effect craft, constructed of glass, fiber, or carbon composite materials. 
Buoyancy is augmented underway by a fan-blown skirted compartment between the two rigid catamaran-type hulls. This provides an alternative solution to the planning hull, or the V-hole compromise the air cushion reduces wave slam at high speeds while presenting a low drag flat planning profile at the waterline. In addition, the vessels are additionally protected by the Rheinmetall mass sensor or decoy system. Moreover, the vessels use four gas turbines combined by rank Kogag gear units built by lightweight design. The smaller gas turbines, rated 2,000 kilowatt turbines, are used for cruising speed. Considering its weapons, the Schuld class missile fast patrol boat is armed with eight Kongsberg Norwegian strike missiles, NSM anti-ship missiles, which have been developed for the Schuld class ships and for the Fridtjof Nansen frigates. The NSM missile is fitted with GPS mid-course and dual-band imaging infrared seeker guidance and has a range access of 150 kilometers. The ship's short-range surface-to-air missile is the infrared-guided MBDA Mistral in a portable configuration. A twin launcher will be deployed on the deck or on a land site. The missile is armed with a 3-kilogram warhead and has a target range of 4 kilometers. The ship's gun for deployment against aircraft and other vessels is the Odo Malara 76mm Super Rapid. The gun has a burst firing rate of 120 RPM, firing 6 kilogram shells to a range of 16 kilometers. In 2020, the Norwegian government decided to further upgrade the Schuld class vessels, partially to compensate for the loss of the frigate Helg Ingstad. The improvement would take place between 2020 and 2024, permitting the Schuld class to remain up to date through to 2030, when replacement vessels were envisaged under terms of the government's defense plan. 